I'm 52. I should be at home driving my van and looking after my wife and 2.4 kids, you know. And yet here I am in China, thanks to this glorious thing that that that, that Sham 69. Fuck you! We had no idea how the audience was going to react to a band without Jimmy Percy. And let's face it, in the early days, Jimmy Percy and Sham 69 were synonymous. You know, it was kind of like, Jimmy is Sham 69, despite the fact that Dave had been there from the beginning and his contribution was, was writing most of the songs, you know. I think a lot of people aren't actually concerned that we have, had a, we have a different singer or maybe the bass player's changed. I think what seems to be most important for people it's the fact that we've bothered to actually sort of come out and um, and play the songs to them, you know? I love Shame Now. It's only in this trip that I've really started to see everything, you know? So I'm still learning to see who, who, how everybody works and what buttons not to push. Do you find it frustrating then that you're having to sing Jimmy's lyrics? No, uh, it's just like anything else. So it's like going up to a vicar saying, do you find it frustrating reading from the Bible? Jimmy dropped the flag and I picked it up. All of you have a responsibility to go out here and tell the fucking kids, sort your fucking cells out, stay fucking united, yes? Sham 69, the first major British punk band ever to visit China and get away with it. What a gas, what a privilege, what a beautiful morning. What's this for? This is Margaret Thatcher's dream world, isn't it? It's kind of like a police state, but with a, with a, with a, a market economy. It's just nuts. It's a very humbling experience being here. It's weird. I don't feel really sad. I just find it a real confusing country. It's such a different, different place to anywhere I've ever been before. It's a different planet. Punk isn't the one force that's going to change China, that's going to open China up. In a way, a country needs time to evolve. Punk is just is a small part of that, but a very important part for the younger peoples. Arab parents in China sing rock and roll. Especially punk is very a little terrible. This man is so gorgeous, that's wonderful. Are they over 16? 40? 15? But they're full of energy, right? A lot of people probably perceive it as, as being sad, being in a band in your sort of like mid to late 40s, some kind of sort of midlife crisis. I can't even, I can't even relate to a midnight, a midnight crisis, a midlife crisis. <laughs> midnight crisis I can relate to. Midlife crisis. I've got no idea what it means. We've got a job to do, we're doing the fucking job. Yeah, but you'll do any fucking job, Ian. What? You'll do any job for fucking money. You know? so it's, it's, to me, it's not... It's Are not you fucking having me have you? Give me a fucking break. So you're talking about fucking 25 years I've been doing Sham 69 for fucking money. Who's the fuck out of me? I couldn't say that if Dave invited me to a social soiree at his house that I would go because I've got nothing fucking in common with him. Tim sees Dave as, I think anyway, sees Dave as a sort of lazy and obnoxious and arrogant, which I don't think Dave is. There's a historical thing throughout bands between a singer and a guitarist. That's part of the chemistry, you need that little bit of fire there. It's like nursemaid in a fucking diddlo with him, you know what I mean? All he thinks about is fucking beer. What are you thinking about yourself, that is? It's been way tougher than I thought it would be this trip. Every day I feel like a fish in a bowl. Where they go home now, I tell you. He's slowly going off the boil. For fuck's sake. Mr. Cynical here. Fucking bullshit. I'm like joining, kicking himself on a fucking kick in a minute. Let me shut up. You told me to fuck off, so I called you a toaster. We've all got our fucking faults, Dave. And I'm sorry, the reason why we're fucking challenged is because of that man. That's why we're fucking here. That is why we're here with you. Like you or not. I don't know, I don't know. If you don't like you, don't fucking do it anymore. I just said what I just said, I'm not. Somebody once said to me that, that once you've got more than one person in a band, you're in bloody trouble. <laughs> Fuck's sake.